everybody, and welcome to another Thernatia webinar video. My name is Kyle. I'm a business developer here at Thernatia, and today we're going to be covering how to create a crowdfunding website, specifically how to create a crowdfunding platform. So topics that are going to be covered are getting started, how to choose a technology for your platform, and how to get the first crowdfunding campaigns as well as how to market your platform. So to get right into it, the first thing you want to do is plan out the platform. Uh, the people that plan out the platform uh, really well are typically those who are most successful. So first thing you want to do is you don't want to be uh, competing with those big platforms out there like the Kickstarters, the Indiegogos, and the GoFundMes because those are already getting many, many crowdfunding campaigns onto their uh, websites every single day. So what you want to do is you want to find a niche. Now there's a lot of different niches out there that have not yet been utilized as crowdfunding uh, platforms. And so you should do your research and you know, see which niche that you could enter and, and that has not been uh, created before. You know, it's okay if there is one or two platforms that have already been created. Um, you can compete with those websites, but you don't want to be competing with the big players like the Kickstarters, the Indiegogos, and the GoFundMes that are, you know, uh, generating the general crowdfunding or providing the general crowdfunding experience, right? Um, so figure out what niche you want. And once you figure that out, you'll find that you can give your potential crowdfunding campaign creators more value than those larger crowdfunding platforms by providing them with you know the harnessed backers on your platform so for instance if they tried to create a crowdfunding campaign on one of those big platforms they're going to be having troubles finding backers on the platform because they're competing with hundreds of other campaigns right who likely have a bigger budget and have better connections in them and they're not going to be able to get onto the front page of those big platforms Whereas if they go to you and your niche, you're going to have uh, and be harnessing a group of backers that are already interested in the type of campaign that they're creating, as well as you're going to have uh, somewhat of a relationship with those crowdfunding uh, campaigns because you're starting out as a small time crowdfunding platform. So there's a lot of different benefits from choosing a good niche. Uh, as well as you know being a small time platform and using that to your advantage Next thing after you choose the right niche is you're going to want to know uh, Who's going to be using the platform? Um, you know, this is your typical um, User persona right whether it be the backers or even the campaign creators um, Once you figure the the user persona out that's going to help you out later down the road with marketing and as well it's going to help you with the user journey. So uh, are they going to be keep it all campaigns? Are they going to be all or nothing campaigns that are on your platform? You need to figure out all these details before you start actually, you know, choosing the technologies, marketing the platform, you know, all this sort of stuff that we're going to be covering later on. So to move on, you want to you want to choose the right technology. You don't want to be creating your own crowdfunding platform from scratch. Um, you know, there's people who try this. It's usually you know, they usually go way over their budget from what they're expecting to pay. Um, you know, they have to find their own developers, and it's just a whole mess that you don't want to get involved with. So you can use you know, technology, technology such as Thernatia Atlas, which is a SaaS product. Um, you know, there's different subscription plans that you can purchase, um, you know, which is a tried and tested crowdfunding platform that you can take advantage of um, rather than trying to go this whole route with, you know, creating your own crowdfunding platform from scratch. So when you're choosing the right technology for your a crowdfunding platform you want to have a specific set of requirements that's going to be um, you know that's going to be related to your user journey um, and it's best to actually have those written down so that when you're trying other products 
you can see which one's going to fit the best. Uh, you're going to want to have the access to the front end source code. This is huge so that you can change the user interface or the, you know, the look and the feel of the website, um, how you want it. Uh, and if you have that front end source code and you can't um, make those manipulations yourself, you can hire a developer to do that for you. So two big advantages of using a SaaS platform rather than just purchasing, you know, um, crowdfunding technology that's already being created is having the full support. The last thing you want to do is be running your crowdfunding platform uh, and, and, and campaigns being running on the platform, generating lots of traffic to the site and there's a big bug or there's a big issue on the site and you know, donors can't, um, you know, potential backers can't donate or something like that. That's, that's the last thing you want and that's going to put a lot of stress on you. So when you're choosing crowdfunding technology, you're likely going to want to go with a SaaS subscription which um, has full support like Thernatia, who has live support as well as a ticketing system so that they can get um, any issue solved very fast. And you can get uh, live feedback from real people um, uh, to, to help you through whatever sort of issues that you're having with your website. Another big advantage um, specifically with Thernatia is using the in-house developers. Like I said before, you may have uh, you know, a, a specific user journey or a specific user interface that you want. Now, if you're going to be using in-house developers, the best thing to do is to have a set of requirements, you know, a document created, written document created with a set of requirements, as well as any Photoshop mockups of the user interface and the, you know, the user journey. This will help you out uh, greatly as, um, you know, you're not just going to have a conversation with um, someone from sales and then, um, you know, uh, have to set, you know, create those documents and then send them over. Because here at Threnatia, if you have those documents already created, we can quickly give you a free quote on how long it's going to take for us to develop something like that so that you can set your budget accordingly. Moving on. Once you've found the technology, you're going to want to, you know, add the content to the platform. Um, and first thing you want to do is connect your bank account to the payment gateway. Thornatia uses Stripe. It's a great payment gateway. Um, you know, we've ha we haven't had any sort of issues with it in the past. So make sure that whatever technology you're using, they're using a very good payment gateway because um, you, know, you don't want any fraudulent behavior or anything like that um, or any sort of bugs. So make sure that either you know, you're using your personal bank account, which we don't typically you know, recommend people doing. If you're really serious, you're likely gonna make you know, a separate bank account uh, for your crowdfunding platform. Um, and this may help you out later, down, later on down the road. So, you also want to have your content ready, you know, all the writing, the logos, the images, etc. If you have all that content ready beforehand, it, it makes the whole process a lot easier. All you have to do is copy and paste it onto the website and you're ready to go. After you got all the content onto the platform, you're going to want to think about your launch. This is very key to the success of your platform. Uh, you want to look at this very much like an actual crowdfunding campaign where you, know, you have a pre-launch campaign created, a pre-launch strategy created, right? So that the whole idea of a pre-launch um, campaign or a pre-launch strategy is that the day that you launch, you're already generating site traffic, right? So in that strategy, you're going to want to have your first campaigns already, um, you know, looking to be hosted on your platform. Typically, these are going to be, you know, friends or family uh, that trust you um, to, to host the campaign on your platform. And if not, we actually have a blog article created um, so that with, with URLs to communities that you can ask around, um, to see if they're looking to create crowdfunding campaigns in your niche. Okay, so uh, make sure that you have a few campaigns ready 
as well as a pre-launch campaign where you're marking your platform before it's being launched, right? Um, and, and there's a lot of information out there on uh, how to create a pre-launch campaign. I would recommend doing the research, um, making sure that you fully understand how to create a pre-launch campaign so that, like I said, once the campaign, once the platform has launched, you get a lot of site traffic right off the bat. Now, before launching, of course, you want to test the platform. A lot of people uh, that are using our technology decide to test the platform by having uh, user and password authentication on their platform, and as well um, as testing out uh, their their bank account or the uh, transaction uh, by by testing out uh, Stripe and doing some some dummy um, donations onto the campaigns just to make sure that everything's working before you launch. So make sure you test the platform and you have a pre-launch campaign and campaigns ready before you launch. Next is marketing the platform. Um, once you have launched the camp, uh, once you have launched the platform, rather, you want to have a very good marketing strategy created. I would recommend trying out the outbound marketing strategy, and there are tons of free online courses designed by big web marketing co uh, companies like HubSpot, like Hootsuite, Moz. Uh, Google and uh, Facebook. These big companies are providing you with free information on how to get site traffic onto your platform um, through the outbound marketing strategy. So, um, you know, in short, the outbound marketing strategy provides your potential users with um, valuable content so that um, they are advocates of your platform. Um, so check out those from the bigger companies. I would not recommend you know, trying any online courses and I would definitely not recommend paying for any online courses where there is a lot of free content out there that's gonna show you exactly how to market your platform. Um, you know, and this takes quite a long time. You will be, uh, you will have, certifications that you can actually utilize on other websites if you decide to use some of the examples uh, that I've mentioned below there. So I hope that gives you guys you know, the right information on how to start and create your own crowdfunding website. You know, feel free to leave any comments below on any future topics that you'd like us to uh, cover, as well as if you have any other questions, you can email uh, us at support at .com or join our live slack chat that's on our homepage there in the top navigation at thrinacia.com that's t-h-r-i-n-a-c-i-a dot com it's live chat up in the top right corner there and you can get live feedback if you have any questions about our products so i hope that helped you guys out and stay tuned for more mm -hmm.